Hi everybody, uh, just a sh real short video today. Um, we're getting ready for another uh, winter storm here in Central Texas. Uh, they're predicting uh, uh, freezing rain and sleet, so um, we may be out of action for a couple of days like we were last year. But anyway, what I wanted to show you is I prowl thingiverse.com for things to print that are, uh, you know, people share and it, within the 3D print, printing world. And uh, one of the things I did find was uh, this is a, uh, a rack to hold three atomic bombs. Look like the Hiroshima bombs to me. Uh, they need to be painted along with everything else you see here. And there's some military stuff. Uh, so anyway, so after I printed that, I says, well, I got all of this stuff here. And I had used all the flat cars I had to uh, use with my uh, uh, circus trains because I have two couple of circus trains. So but anyway, so what I did was I found this is a. Um, a 40 foot flat car, uh, as you can see, and it's got some microtrains trucks on it. I uh, always try to keep a little ready supply of them. And uh, it needs to be painted and, 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 and made to look uh, dirty and such. These are, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 40 footers. And that's to run the, um, the vehicles here, um, except a couple of them. I don't have enough for every all of them. Uh, and then, so what I did was I modified this 40, and I'll show it to you, into a 50-footer. The bombs didn't fit real good on the 40, and you can't put two tanks on, you can put an individual tank on a 40, but you can't put two tanks. You can put a couple trucks on the 50s. Uh, so anyway, so what I did was I basically cut the middle out of a 40, sliced it in half, and then spliced it into the middle and to make a 50 footer. So, but anyway, that's, that's pretty simple. Um, the most expensive part on all all of these flat cars are the uh, uh, microtrains trucks, and uh, I mean they're less than a dime a piece to, to print each car. I had gone uh, to find flat cars like on eBay or other websites, and I said I'm not paying anywhere from ten to twenty plus dollars for a flat car when I needed. There's what, 9, 10, 11, there's 12 cars here. So uh, it just was not cost effective. So that's why I, I went ahead and printed them. So once I get everything painted and uh, I'll go ahead and we'll get these glued down. I got. I think I have some uh, white stars to put on all the vehicles. I'll have to, to look at my decal box. But uh, I'll try to get everything looking good, and uh, we'll create another military train to run on the layout. But uh, but anyway, that's uh, that's where it stands right now. As I said, we're getting ready for 35 mile an hour winds with uh, temperatures down into the uh, low 20s or below. And uh, once again, February. Hopefully, we won't have. Uh, an ice mageddon this year, like we had the snow mageddon last year. But anyway, we'll see you after uh, the bad weather, which will last until Friday morning. Bye.